Hi everyone, I'm so glad you're here today um, for our circle time again. Let's get started. Ready? Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you? How are you this special day? I'm so glad you came to play. Hello, hello, how are you? All right, I'm so glad you're here with me today. Let's get started and do our counting, okay? All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. Today is the number 21. All right, now let's do it in Spanish. Are you ready? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, trece, catorce, quince, dieciséis, diecisiete, Diese ocho, diese nueve, vente, vente uno. All right, good work. That's a lot of numbers to say, isn't it? All right, I'm going to um, play a game with you guys right now, okay? Let's um, get this board out here. And I think I'm going to hold it today. Let's see if I can do this. All right, um, I've got some popcorn cups. And each of my popcorn cups, ha cups have a different color on them. So here is, actually, you know what? I'm going to hang this up because I need it to be sturdy to play this game. That means that I need it to not move around. And if I'm holding it, it might move around on me. And that would not be good, okay? So here we go. I've got green. We're going to put it right here. There's the green cup. And we have a black, and we have a white, we have a purple, and a pink, and a blue, an orange. We got lots of colors and a yellow and let's do one more let's do red all right so each of these popcorn cups is empty um and, but guess what i have some popcorn right here and it's going to be hiding behind one of these cups and you have to help me find it okay we're going to sing a song and you got to help me say it, and we're going to find it. But first, I'm going to hide it, okay? So, I'm going to put this book in front of the pit camera, okay? Don't look. All right, I'm going to hold it right here. Don't look. What color do you think the popcorn is going to be hiding behind? All right, are you ready? Okay. This, the little poem goes like this. Pop, pop, popcorn, where could it be? Lip, it's in a bucket. Let's look and see. All right, what bucket do you think it's under? Is it under the orange bucket? Let's see. <gasps> it's not there. Is it behind the purple one? Let's see. <gasps> it's not there. All right, I'm going to pick this time. I pick yellow. There it is. There's the popcorn. All right. Now, I want you guys to help me. Whoopsie. My flannel board's coming off my wall. I want you guys to help me find it this time, okay? I'm going to cover you up again so nobody's peeking. All right, you're covered. Let's see what color... Am I putting it behind? 
All right. Here we go. Whoa, it took a second for the color to come back right. <laughs> All right, pop, pop, popcorn. Where could it be? It's in a bucket. Let's look and see. What color do you think it's under, guys? Shout out a color. What color? Did I hear green? Let's see. It's not there. Okay, what color should we do now? Oh, I heard yellow. Nope, it's not yellow. What color? Hmm, pink? Okay, let's look under pink. <gasps> nope, it's not under pink. What color? Purple? <gasps> look at that! There it is! It's under the purple. All right. Okay, friends. We will play that a game another day, okay? I'm going to put it away, and we're going to read a book, all right? Um, we're going to read the book that's in my hand. I used to cover the picture. All right, this one is called The Big Smelly Bear. Big Smelly Bear by Breda Tuckentrump. Hmm. Big Smelly Bear never ever washes. Big Smelly Bear never brushes. Big Smelly Bear never took a bath. Big Smelly Bear was followed by a big smelly stink wherever he went. Flies buzzed all around him, but they were the only ones that ever came close. When the animals in the forest got a whiff of Big Smelly Bear, they ran away as quickly as they could. None of this seemed to bother Big Smelly Bear, though. But sometimes he did think that it would be nice to have a friend. Then one morning, everything changed. Big Smelly Bear woke up with the most terrible itch. He tried to scratch his back with his paw, but he couldn't reach it. Have you ever gotten an itch on your back that you just can't reach by yourself and you need help? I have. That is the worst. He tried rolling on the ground in the dirt, but he didn't, but that didn't stop the itch either. Big smelly smelly bear was itchier and dustier than ever. Uh-oh. I wonder what he's going to do. He tried scratching his back with a tree branch, but that made the itch even itchier. He tried rubbing his back against the trunk of an old tree, but that didn't help either. Uh-oh. I would scratch your back for you, said a voice from above, but you are much too smelly. Big Smelly Bear looked up and saw a big fluffy bear sitting in a some branches. Big Fluffy Bear smiled at Big Smelly Bear. Oh. Do you think they're going to be friends? Let's see what happens. Why don't you take a bath? Asked Big Fluffy Bear. Then you wouldn't itch or smell. Because I don't need a bath, replied the Big Smelly Bear. Do you think he needs a bath? I don't know. I think he probably does. Yes, you do, said the big fluffy bear. No, I don't, said the big smelly bear. Yes, you do, growled the big fluffy bear. No, I don't, growled the big smelly bear back. Yes, you do, cried the big fluffy bear. No, I don't, shouted the big smelly bear. Yes, you do, shouted the big fluffy bear, because you stink. Both big bears sat quietly for a minute. Then Big Smelly Bear sighed a big sigh. Oh, all right, he said, and he stomped off grumpily down the hill to the pond. Is he going to take a bath? Is that where bears take a bath in the pond? I think so. Then when Big Smelly Bear got out of the pond, he shook the water from his body. Big Fluffy Bear jumped down from the tree and sniffed. There, she said. That is much better. Now you smell all clean. And she scratched his back for him. Aw, that was very friendly of her. 
The itch was gone. Big Smelly Bear sighed. Oh, thank you. Then he gave Big Fluffy Bear's back a little scratch, too. I'm not going to take any more baths, said Big Smelly Bear. Big Fluffy Bear smiled, and the two bear, big bears had a little bear hug. Aw, he has a friend now. Big Smelly Bear liked Big Fluffy Bear very much. Even though he said he would never bathe again, sometimes, late at night, he would wander down to the big pond. And can you guess what he was doing in the pond? What does he have? He has a rubber ducky and what is this? He has a scrubber brush to brush to wash himself. And a beach ball. What's he doing? He's taking a bath, that's right. And now he has a friend to play with every day. <gasps> that is so nice. When you're when you do something, sometimes your your friends will help you too. All right, guys, that is it for today. I will see you again tomorrow, okay? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow.